Well, good afternoon, everybody. Howdy do. This is Sister Gloria. Uh, back to the... No. Uh, <clears throat> oh, what a way to start this video. What a way to start the video. <laughs> it had to be me. <laughs> Jesus is the only answer. Ministries. Jesus is the only answer. And the time is... Uh, about 2 30 it's about 2 30 p.m and the guys had to go back to town to go to walmart to get a few more things <clears throat> so i thought i'd get on here and uh do another video <clears throat> and again excuse me for having to clear my throat my sinuses are acting up big time so you have to pardon me for clearing my throat um what I wanted to talk to you guys about this time was, well, the, you know, the kids went to Tennessee. They went to Tennessee, met up with Brother Robert and his wife, uh, Marlis. Robert Sells and his wife, uh, Marlis. And we met them from back in the Periscope days. And what I'm missing, what I'm missing is the old times when we used to get on there and do prayer, prayer scopes. You know, praying for people. I know that we pray for people, but I miss those days of Periscope. I'm going to say it again. I miss the days of Periscope when we'd get on there and pray and people were healed. People were healed. I mean, that's not a Protestant thing or whatever. It's not a Protestant thing. It's all right, Taco. Taco wouldn't eat his chicken a while ago, so... Yes, I'm out here. The guys will be home after a while. Get, they're going to bring us home a hamburger, sweetheart. And, and I decided to get me a fish sandwich. So, a fish sandwich. Fish sandwich. So, uh, anyway, but that's what I wanted to talk about. I miss the days of getting on and doing broadcasts and praying for people. We need that now more than ever. We need that now more than ever. And if, if it's a Protestant thing, well, then it's a Protestant thing. You know, that's, that's the way it is. In this day and age now, <clears throat> with what I, all the stuff that's going on now in this world, we need to be praying and stuff. And uh, yes, I miss those days. I miss those days. And my son-in-law made, made a comment. He says, well, you've got your YouTube channel. I said, yes. And I said, you've got yours. You know, do do uh, prayer broadcasts. Do pr prayer broadcasts. That means me going live, and I haven't done a live one for a long, long time on YouTube, and I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to start doing that. Go live. Remember when I back when I did my hour, the hour of glory. <clears throat> Remember that. I'm gonna bring that back as well. I'm gonna bring it back. The hour of glory. The hour of glory. So let's get this started by the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, Amen, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, <clears throat> um, I'd like to get some new subscribers. I love every one of you. I love each and every one of you. But I want some new subscribers. I mean, I want to gain more subscribers on my channel. You know, and... That's why I ask you guys to like, to th thumb up the videos, and share the videos. You know, so I can get more subscribers. Yeah, I had said I don't need thousands of subscribers, but hey, it's getting the word out about Jesus. Getting the word out about Jesus. <clears throat> Pure and simple. And that's what I'm all about. That's what I've always been about. And that's why I started my channel 10 years ago. 10 years ago. You know, and it's taken me all these years to get what I've got on my subscribers. You know, and yeah, sure, I'd love to have more subscribers. Yes, I would. And it's not me being 
whatever, boastful or whatever. That ain't, that ain't what it is. <clears throat> I just would like to have some more subscribers. There's a lady that, that has a channel that I've, I've come across. I'll make, try to make this short. She goes by Grammy, Grammy's Views. She, she's a Southern, Southern woman. And she has thousands of subscribers. Well, it's evil over good. Evil over good. She's one of the ones that do, doesn't like Trump. But she has lots and lots of subscribers. And like I said, people, a lot of people don't want to hear about the Lord. They don't want to hear about Jesus. Because there is an eternity after we leave this world. There is, is a, an eternity. Will we spend eternity in, with the Lord? Or will we be told, depart from me, I never knew you. Depart from me, I never knew you. You workers of iniquity, or you that work iniquity. I never knew you. I don't want him to tell me that. I don't want him to look at me and say, get away from me, I never knew you. You know, and she needs our prayers. To those of us who love Jesus, she needs our prayers. Like I said, she goes by Grammy's views. And she's a dear lady. It's just that she's she's in this world. She's in she's worldly. She's worldly. And to those of us that are woke, you know what I mean by being being woke. I don't mean the woke <clears throat> the woke stuff. I mean, being awake. You know. Look at all the people that she talks to. You know, and she never once mentions mentions the Lord. Of course not. She never once mentions the Lord. People send her gifts. They send her cars, letters. Because they're worldly. Worldly people. Love not the world or the things or the things that's in this world, in other words. We're supposed to be kingdom minded. Kingdom minded. Even though we're not perfect, the Lord meets us right where we're at. He meets us right where He even supped with the sinners. He ate with the sinners. And of course, we are all sinners. We all are, basically. We all are only saved by grace. But he ate with the sinners. You know, the publicans and, and all that. They He ate with them. You know, so who, who are we, you know? But she needs our prayers. She needs our prayers. She needs to have a big time coming to Jesus moment. Big time. And... But like I said, I wanted to get on here and just do a straight talk. <clears throat> but yes, I miss those days. I miss those days of, of Periscope. And I wish Elon Musk would bring it back. I wish he would bring it back. Of course, now he's in thick with, with working with Trump, which, which is great. You know, of course, he's got people that works under him, though. So Periscope could still be launched. You know, Periscope could still be launched. You know, reach a lot more people from Periscope, on Periscope. Reach a lot more people. They'll be back pretty soon, sweetheart. I miss my other cup. Plus, my the one I had, Proverbs 31 woman. I missed that one. It had the lid on it put for it. A lot of stuff got left. A lot of stuff got left. But and yes, I'm kind of going in circles. I'm kind of going in circles. I don't mean to, but I'm kind of going <clears throat> in circles. But some of you will know what I mean. Some of you will know what I mean by the old days. The old days. <clears throat> the old days. Getting on there and singing, even though my voice isn't the greatest now. I used to be a high soprano, and now I'm an alto due to due to this, due to this, due to the cigarettes all these years. Due to the cigarettes, it's taking me down, my voice down. 
and I miss playing the piano. I've already forgot. I know what to do with the left hand, but I forgot to do what, what you do with your, with your right hand. I forgot that part. And you know, if you don't use your gifts, you're gonna lose your gifts. Playing the piano was one of my gifts. It wouldn't take me long to relearn it. I, mean, I know it wouldn't take me long to relearn it. But I miss playing the piano. I miss playing the piano. There's so many things that I miss. See, that's getting back to basics. What I said on the other video, one of the other videos, is getting back to basics. You know, prayer, music, fellowship, fellowship to like-minded people, to like-minded people. You know, pray one for another, pray one for another. Pray one for another. Yes, I have found out a lot of truth. Yes, I have found out a lot of truth. But in the end, I'm going to say this again. But in the end, it's all about Jesus. Winning people over to Jesus. In the end, the bottom line is winning people over to Jesus. Especially now in these, in these days, in these times. Redeeming the times for their evil. <laughs> what that was... Redeeming the times for they are evil. And things are going to get a lot worse. Things are going to get a whole lot worse. We ain't seen nothing yet. So there'll be signs in the stars and the moon and the, and the sun. We're seeing it. Earthquakes in diverse places. Volcanoes, like I've said before. Sinkholes. All kinds of weird stuff's going on. All... all kinds of weird things are going on it talks about it in the word in God's word it talks about it so when I get on here again I'm going to start reading out of the Bible out of out of the God's word I'm going to start reading out from God's word and kind of get back the way I used to be kind of get back the way I used to be just plain me ministering to people to go in ministering God's word to people, praying for people. And you can also leave your prayer requests under the videos and I would be happy to pray, be happy to pray. And I leave my, I put my information, my contact information on there in case somebody would like to write to me, not just to donate, you know, if somebody would just like to write me a letter or something, you know. So, but God put that in me Ten years ago to start a YouTube channel. Of course, I have two others. Back to the Altar of God. And then my singles, my singles one. And I never really got, I never really got that one up and going. I mean, there's a few videos on there. But I never really got it up and going. You know, it's singles. I, I was going to name it Singles for Jesus. And then. I changed it. I forget now what what I call, what I named it. I forget now what I called it. Just being me, I think is what I think is what I is what I renamed it. Just being me. Just being me. <laughs> you know. So. Farther along we. Understand why Cheer up my brother Live in the sunlight We'll understand it All by and by There's a woodpecker out there We'll understand it all by and by I gotta find my uh, my songbooks gotta find my songbooks gotta find my songbooks yeah that's the first woodpecker I've seen and they and you know they like peanut butter they love peanut butter <laughs> they sure do they like peanut butter <laughs> but anyway this was like I said just 
more like a straight talk, you know. And again, I'm going to say, I miss those days. I'm being called back to them old, to the, like the old, the old times. Back to the old times. Yep, I am. The Lord's calling me back. Back to basics. Back to basics. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to use fancy words. The prayers are beautiful, yes, the prayers are beautiful, but you don't, you don't have to do all them fancy prayers and all that. Back to basics. Back to basics. So, if, you, if some of you will understand what I mean, some of you won't, and that's okay. To the new ones that, that will run across this video, you know, and I am... Again, I have. I'm gonna. I want to say that yes, I am a licensed minister of God. Yes, I am a licensed ordained minister. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, and I have been since 2018. Since 2018, my family and I got sidetracked. We got sidetracked. The old devil is the accuser of the brethren. The old devil will trick people. He will trick, trick us. He'll trick us. He sure will. Because he knows he has but a short time. He knows he has but a short time. Even shorter, getting shorter and shorter. Now, getting shorter and shorter. Getting shorter and shorter. I miss the old, I've been watching uh, John and Mama. They live in Jellico, Tennessee. And they go to a, a little small Baptist church. It's a Baptist church. It's up on the hill. It's just a, like an old country church. What I've always wanted. Just a small country church where they, where they sing and, and pray. <clears throat> they have fellowship. They bring food, you know. For people to fellowship, you know, and eat. Break bread together, you know, break bread together. Just a little country church. He said they probably got maybe 50 people, maybe. That's always been more my speed. Been more my, been more up my speed, you know. That's right. More my speed. I'm letting some feelings out, you guys. I'm letting my true feelings come out. Letting my true feelings come out. You can meet people and you can dearly love them. Love them to pieces. You know, and God always brings us back to where he wants us to be. He sure does. If we have him in our hearts, if he's with us, which he is, he always brings us back to where he wants us. This is what's happening to me. Real and raw. Real and raw. Witnessing for about Jesus. I want to tell you something. To those of you that don't know me. A while back when my grandson was 12 or 13 years old. He's 21 now. We did a street preach out at the mall. Out at of, out of, out of our mall. Well, we didn't hear the shofars while we were doing the street preach. But when we played it back, there was three shofars. Three of them. No, two. Two, two, two shofars. Yeah, two of them. And he said, Grandma, that, that's, that sounds like a shofar. The Lord was pleased because I was out there talking to people talking to people and telling them about Jesus. He was pleased, people. He was pleased with me. With all of us. Me and my daughter and my grandson. He was very well pleased with us for what we were doing. And I I couldn't believe it. I said, oh my heavens. Because we didn't hear it while, while we were doing the street preach. She, she, she was helping me. She was giving me scriptures to read. She was looking up scriptures on her phone. And she said, here mom, how about this one? 
John 3, 16 through 21. There we go. John 3, 16 through 21. Read it, you guys, on your own time. Read it. John 3, 16 through 21. Verses 21. And I was reading, I was reading that. Awesome. Awesome. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, you guys. But yeah, like I said, I want, would like to have some new subscribers. I see some smoke coming from somewhere. But yes, I would like to have some new subscribe, some more subscribers. 340 is fine. But I'd like to, to have more. I would like to gain more. I would like to gain more subscribers. Getting the word out about Jesus. Getting the word out about the Lord. I don't know where, where that smoke's coming from. Somebody's burning wood or something. But yeah. So let me say a little prayer. And then I'm going to go ahead and close. And... I do love my Lord. I do love my Lord, and I want to please my Lord. And like I said, He knows how we are. He, he created us. He knows how we are. We're not perfect. The Bible says no one's perfect. No one's righteous. Not one except Jesus Christ that walked the earth. He was the only one that was perfect. There's none righteous. No, not one. But we are made righteous through Him. We are made righteous. So I'm going to say a prayer, you guys. Dear Lord in heaven, we get, we all give you the honor, the glory, and the praise that you so much richly deserve, dear Lord. We thank you for our blessings. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for giving you giving your life on the cross. And then three days later, you arose. Now you're sitting at the right hand of your father. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we trust in you, dear, dear Lord. We trust in you. We put all of our faith, our hope, our trust in you and only you. And we know that you do answer prayers. You do answer prayers. And you always have the perfect timing. You always have the perfect timing. You're never late. You always go far ahead of us, Lord, to make the crooked path straight. You always do. Jeremiah 29, 11. You have to read that. Jeremiah 29, 11. So, Lord, again, I give you all the honor and the glory and the praise. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you for loving me. For loving me. Just the way I am. Just the way I am, Lord. I thank you. So, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen, and they all said, Amen and amen, in the name of the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. I love you guys. With the love of Christ Jesus, things just got a lot brighter in here. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Things got brighter. Things got brighter. See, that's God's love. That's God's love. That's His love. It's His love. He loves us all. So, please like the bit, the video. Please share it out. Please share it out. And again, my contact info will be in the description box. And love one another as He has loved us. Love one another.
Be kind to one another. Lift one another up in prayer. Don't knock people down. Don't knock people down. And we have but one judge that we'll all have to stand before. We all will have to stand before and give an account. No, no one is exempt. <clears throat> no one ex is exempt. Remember that. Because when them stones that we throw or you throw or whatever come back, they hurt. When them stones come back, they hurt. Just remember that when you before you want to say something horrible to someone, them stones hurt. So until my next video, I love you all. Kisses and hugs to each and every one of you that will see this video. And again, please like and share the video. Please. All right, you guys. Bye-bye. Love you.